Tonight, a tough guy battles back. He was one of the ruthless mobsters on TV Sopranos. It turns out that Joey Pantoliano, or Joey Pants, as he's known to almost everyone, has been struggling as much off screen as he has on screen. I think that we should all be proud of it. I think that we outnumber the normal people. Diagnosed with depression three years ago, he started an organization called No Kidding Me Too. I'm interviewing people with all different brain diseases. I have clinical depression. I was diagnosed with ADHD. I want to eradicate the shame and the stigma that is associated with all forms of mental diseases. We want to make the discussion of mental illness cool and sexy and trendy. This battle that Joey has taken up is really the, the last great frontier of civil rights in our country. And he's the Martin Luther King of this movement because he's the one person, he's up there harassing people on Capitol Hill about something that other people don't want to talk about, that other people are embarrassed about, that other people are ashamed about, whether it's in their families, but uh, God forbid that you suffer it yourself. But he goes into these offices and he says, yeah, I have this disease and you cannot ignore me. This department we're in now is the Harvard Brain Tissue Resource Center. It's also known as the Harvard Brain Bank. The tissue arrives here, then it undergoes a screening process, and then the tissue is dissected and distributed to researchers, the researchers who are studying these disorders. This is the brain of a woman that lived an entire life, that bore children, grandchildren, and because she allowed the research, She's a part of the cure that could come tomorrow or 10 years from now. It's her admission and acceptance into the fact that she got this disease in the first place. And for her to allow these doctors to send it around the world to other doctors that are studying this disease to find a cure um, is an amazing thing. And, 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 and this, this is to honor that, that soul. Anyone who has any questions, like really important questions, we're giving you cards, so if you want anonymity, make them really tough, very revealing, because that's going to help us uh, get this story out. The greatest gift, the best thing that ever happened to me was being diagnosed with a mental disease. It's an illness, a mental illness. No, it's not. She has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. We always knew Joey was a little bit off, but uh, we just assumed that was part of his delightful character. And when he understood that he was actually clinically depressed and that there was hope for him to return to the vivacious person that he was, I was elated. It's that extraordinary courage by this man who's friends to all of us, you know, and that, the fact that he does it with such incredible good humor. We want it to be as cool and as trendy as erectile dysfunction, that we want to encourage young adults and adults to have the emotional intimacy that is necessary to eradicate the problem. I want to thank him for doing this film so that he doesn't have to go around the country talking about this, that we can show it to a lot of people and that they can begin to understand this disease.